All right, guys, up here at uh, Alta Shooting Solutions on this beautiful, hot Sunday. Um, Going to test out the Tokarev TT12 today and see what's up with it. So basically what comes in the box is you get two chokes. There's one already in the gun. It's the Beretta pattern. Of course, the charging handle for it's in there as well. A little lock, some iron sights, flip-up sights, five-round magazine. Um, it does have the brackets on there for the, the cheek piece uh, that can be purchased separately on their website. So I've got a, a couple other mags. This was actually from SDS Imports. This is one of their 10 rounders. Uh, this is one I had from my VR80 when I used to run it. Also this long stick. And this is another, this is a 20 round drum from SDS Imports. I'm going to go ahead and try that out also. Today, I've got a plethora of stuff to run through this gun. So, we'll see. See if she's going to eat all of it or not. So, we're going to start off. First shot's out of the gun. Hasn't been fired. Winchester, 1300. The hottest shells I got besides some buckshot. Um, five round magazine. The only thing I've done so far, besides take it out of the box, put the charging handle on it, is uh, give it a little bit of lube just, just inside here. So, let's see what she does. All right, next up Winchester AA 1250s. Still using the five round magazine that was supplied with the gun gradually go lower see if it'll run everything and then I'll start changing up to different magazines um, all right all right Winchester 1200 double A's five round stick same as the others this gun is also has ambi control so you got your bolt release mag both sides, safeties, so on and so forth. So. I didn't pick one up. All right. I'm going to try the Winchester 1200s again. This time I added a little bit of lube. This portion here. So, see what she does. Alright, next on the plate, the Wally World Federal 1200s. These, I think, they're 100 packs at Walmart. Next up, Winchester White Box. Next up, 1145 Top Gun Federals. Mm 
I've never really had real good luck with these shells. Um, these are 1200 ounce and an eighths. Okay, this is starting to get a little bit warm, but we've shot quite a bit and pretty short amount of time but it's still not unbearable Remington gun club 1200 feet per second ounce and an eighth every shell I've shot so far has been ounce and an eighth So now here's some some real testing for what we do in three gun. Got a slug, a 1300 low recoil Federals. Slug on top and Winchester white box on bottom. So let's see if she'll feed and run. Real weird. Bird, slug, bird, buck, bird. I think it's a bird on the bottom. Uh, then all birds are white box, slow, same little recoil, federal, and the uh, buck shots this uh, Rio. Low recoil. Let's see what she does. So now that we've established it'll run with a five round magazine after I put some lube on it. Uh, shit, I haven't had a single hiccup with it. Uh, so now here's one of their uh, 10 round sticks, 10 rounds of white box. We keep running that until I run out because it's cheap and I got a bunch of it that doesn't run into some of my other guns. So let's see if the 10 rounds are. <laughs> B and P shells, 1300s, these things are pretty damn spicy. Another cool feature. The bolt release, they designed it to be back behind the charging handle so it doesn't bite you. Next up, the 19 round stick with the base pad. I think I got 21 or 22 in here. All kinds of weird stuff in here. Uh, I got the Rio, the blue shells, the rest of the white box, and I've got a slug on top. I think there was something else I put in there. Maybe a fiddle top gun or two. But. Time to get really silly. I got 28 in here. When I was running the VR80 before, I could never get this thing to run right. Not 
too bad. Next up, 20 round drum with a Federal Top Gun 1200. I hate to say it, but I've never even used this thing. I was given one and never went through the paces, so this is the first shot through it and the shotgun. See what it does. Alright. Twenty round stick. This has got a candy cane of different brands. I got some BNP thirteen hundreds on top. I want to say 1200s underneath it, 1145 Winchesters underneath it, and some Federal Top Gun all the way at the bottom, 1200s. So, a wide range of different speeds of stuff. Let's see. <laughs> So far, the uh, the hottest stuff we run through it today was 1,300 feet per second ounce and an eighth. I've got some 1,600 feet per second Winchester slugs. So let's see. I put three slugs in here, candy caned, one on top, middle, bottom, and then let's go to the other extreme, 1145s for the bird shot. This will be a test. Um, let's see if this dual. Gas piston system is doing its job. Like it is. One last test. I got the uh, Winchester AA 1145, so the lightest ones I've got. Um, sometimes when you're shooting a competition, you can't you sometimes get off the game a little bit. And, some you get a malfunction. So let's see if it'll run with it uh, not being completely tight on my shoulder. So I'm gonna pull it back, ease off of it. Let's see if that works. Alright, so final thoughts on the uh, TT12 shotgun. You know, obviously we had a hiccup or two at the very beginning, had a, another hiccup on that big 30 round stick, but uh, beyond that, it worked well. So going from high powered stuff to even just low recoil ammunition. Uh, also, what's cool about this gun, you can take the stock off. I mean, it comes with a regular buffer extension. You can put whatever stock you want or unthread it, put whatever. Um, the only things I've found that hold it back a little bit, which is just a wear and tear thing, or a wear, these don't quite drop free. I just have to polish the magazine a little bit to get it to drop free. Um, that's nitpicking. Uh, safety's a little stiff. Also, you can replace these grips with any AR-15 grips you want. But all in all, uh, is this a viable budget option to get into three-gun open division? Yes, yes, it is. Um, this thing runs so much better out of the box than any other stuff that's on the market right now at sub $500, the way you see it. Um, I think this is going to be a game changer. Uh, people that are curious about shooting open division got red dots on their guns and all that and want to be competitive with a box fed magazine gun. So, uh, time will tell. I'm going to run a couple hundred more rounds through it and see if I can't find some other demons in it. But beyond that, this thing is phenomenal for the money. Um, I do gains over at SDSM for not lying. 
this thing runs. So if you're in the market for a box bed shotgun, um, this is the one you need to buy.